This is JC with CIS Trading and the Trading View Toolkit. In focus, the Euro British Pound. And we're looking at a short position here from the 89.91 area. Take a quick look at this on the hourly and we'll mark some key levels here so that you can see what we're looking at. Uh, first, we have a diamond reversal to the upside above the 89.99 area. From the 89.88, we're back in that range now. However, what we're looking at on this trade is something that's just a little bit closer. We have an arrowhead pattern. At the 89.85 and a half breakout area. So we're looking for a short down to at least 89.85 and one half euro British pound. And we're short on that position at 89.91 even. We have one key market making target level down around 89. 79.3. I'm going to flip over to the 15 minute very quickly. We had an awesome little spin top, uh, pin, sorry, pin, pin stop with a spirit pattern, and I was combining the words so. From that 89.92, we had a little spirit pattern and a pin stop combination with an inside bar break. It came down just to the breakdown area at the 89.85 and a half. So we're looking for potentially a move back down to that 89.85 and a half area again. Lowest target on that bid for the Euro British pound would be. 89.83.2, so just about a five pip trade on this short from 89.91. Again, looking at the one hour chart on the arrowhead pattern on this bullish move. This diamond pattern really brought the, the price action right back up into this zone, so we'll see the Euro British pound trade back above this 89.99 area but this arrowhead pattern here is just way too close it's only five pips away and we're still talking about ten pips away from uh, this area so I'm, I'm looking at this from a probability standpoint back down to the 89 85 and a half on the arrowhead pattern and potentially down to the 89 83 and a half area take a quick look at it on the one minute so you can see on this one minute <laughs> so we're in the trade from 89 91 looking for 89.85.5. So, not much in market depth, but that five pips to the downside is a whole lot closer than the 10 pips to the upside on the diamond play. Since we're already trading below the diamond on that one hour chart, but that's a key insight. We will see this Euro British pound back up around that 89.99 area again. I would think before we see anything else further to the downside. So I had a couple things that started on this one minute. As we made this move up, if you look here, this 89.86 area, right at that 89.86 area, we had a diamond at, at the top of an up move on this one minute from the 
to the 8986 area. So we're looking for this one minute to trade back down through that. When we look at this one minute chart, had a little bit of a diamond here at the top, but we broke down just below it and closed just below it. So there wasn't really a trade available there. It, it moved very quickly down to that level all of a sudden, and that, and that was it. But there wasn't hardly any market depth, only about one tick beyond the spread on it. So it really wasn't worth taking that trade, but we did get in it later at 89.91. Go back to the one-hour chart. And you can see what we're look, looking at. When I go from my one hour, 15 minute, five minute, one minute, and just mark the some of the key pro trading levels and the market making areas, and you can see what it looks like in this range between 89.92 down to 89.85 and a half. And what we're looking at is a move back down below this 89.85 and a half and potentially down to the 89.79 and a half area, and then a, a move back above the 89.99 area. So we're going to play this short first for about five pips, what we're looking like. Right now we're up uh, about a pip and a half. So some key technical views on this euro British pound. I'm going to go to the four hour very quickly. Uh, we had a spirit pattern at the top on this four hour. You can see this uh, bearish low pin uh, came down to start the pro trader trend on candle two, but then we popped right back up into the market making area of that bearish low pin. And then it was a short from there. You had a diamond pattern short. I'm not going to mark it because it's the same as uh, our target area, but it's right right there on that diamond short. And you can see where it came back down and broke down below that diamond on that four hour. So I'm going to look at it on a daily. So on a daily, when I turn my pro metrics on, uh, this was a short play on a pro metrics reversal. Um, I've traded this, I think, three or four times. It's published on Twitter. So I've traded the Euro British pound overnight into the morning uh, a handful of times. And when you uh, you can look at the results of those trades, but when you look at this, you can see the the price action reversal with the pro metrics. So. With that key reversal, we played this short on every trade today. I'm going to flip the CISGG Prometrics algorithm off and go back to the one minute chart. So at this point, we've come to the core level of our most effective candle on this one minute. And we've come right down to the core value. You can see as soon as price gets to that core value, it sort of has stopped. So this will be a key break once it breaks below this 89, 89, six areas. So when we get to that 89, 89 and a half, we should see that that move back down toward that 89, 85 and a half. So when you look at the technical view on the Euro British pound, on the daily, we do have the CISGG Pro Metrics algorithm uh,
reversal off the top on that daily. I'll flip that back on very quickly. Zoom that in a little bit. So you can see when you look at this bottom tail doji or bearish high pin, when you get down below where the current price is on this bottom tail, you can see all the market making levels that are in there. And then you can see the key market making level at the top of the diamond. And so what we've done is we've marked where our market making levels are. So unless we get down below this 89, 76, and really a half on the bid. So unless we get below the 89, 76 and a half area, we're still in the market making area. So we're still navigating some of the levels within this market making candle. So it's a market making bottom tail doji currently. It's not a true pin, so it's a market-making bottom tail doji. And this wick area down to beyond the core is all market-making area. And you can see all those market-making levels. When we go from our intraday and then, and then bring it back and look. So when we look at our pro trading levels, these are all of our market-making levels inside this market-making candle. In order for this to become... A trending candle bearish it would need to get down to this 89 79 and a half area so when we're looking at trading this I'm just going to look at the weekly very quickly when we're looking at trading this our pro metrics are showing some weakness at this top it doesn't mean we can't continue higher but it's the pro metrics show right away there's weakness and so as soon as you get to the top 25% of market depth or anywhere near that and really the top 50% you have a great opportunity of looking to short when you have those signals like that and when you go back to their five minute chart and you look at the five minute view from that from that weekly you can see where we are on in regard to all of our pro trading levels inside of a market making candle navigating through all of these market making levels and that's really what this trade is and what's key is until we get down below the 85 89 85 and a half area or above the 89.99 area we don't have anywhere for there to be price action once we get below 89.79 we have a breakdown to the downside and once we get above that 89.99 area then we enter into an upper consolidation market making area again with a potential strength toward a trend to the upside but once it gets back above that 89.99 level or gets up there to there we're going to have another market making consolidation area because we're inside of a market making candle on this daily with sort of this bearish bottom tail doji All right, and that's not really a true pin so inside that market making candle we're navigating through all these market making levels until we get below 89 79 and a half or above the 89 99 area so you have about 20 pips in this trade where it's very tight managed risk and you're just navigating through those market making levels so I'm kind of combining some pro trading methodologies, some of the pro trading uh, candlestick signals, looking at the, the key pro trading levels, and then using my time frames to look at where my trade is really going to happen.
as far as price action. 